That's still floating, but maybe we can disguise that with some, I don't know, with some things. I don't know. What do you think I am? Good at this? Who even cares about that? This is not a necessary detail, and yet here I am, taking time to do it anyway because of who I am as a person. It's not even going to be a toilet paper holder here. That's the real nightmare. We could put a chicken in here to sacrifice it. That would be fun. I mean, not for the chicken, obviously, but... Hello fellow humans, welcome back to another video. My name is Tash and you're hanging out with me today while I build in The Sims 4. So today we're going to continue our haunted farmhouse build. I'm hoping to have this wrapped up in the next two parts but we'll just have to see how we go. I might have to make them slightly longer episodes or cut more stuff out and record for a bit longer. Also no face cam today, I'm sorry. I'm not feeling the best. I didn't want to bother putting on makeup. Last episode was great actually. I got some really fantastic feedback. The first thing I want to address is this paneling here. I think there was a bit of discussion on whether or not the brown or the grey is better. I, th I think we're going to go with this as if it's been whitewashed and now it's all dirty purely because we have a light colour on the house and I think that ties in with the rest of the build better. I think I'm going to stick with that but do let me know in the comments if you think that was the wrong choice and if I should go back to what we had before. Either way I think it's going to look good, I just, um, I don't know, I think this feels more right to me. Second was that even though the maze isn't that great you guys were really kind about it so... <laughs> Anyway, so we're gonna build that up. I think three higher was the consensus. We'll do three and I'll um and then I'll see sort of where it's at. I think taller is better too, as if it's sort of grown over time and is a little bit more overgrown at the top. I don't know, like it hasn't been trimmed. I think that could be really cool. Now, Oddie also had a fantastic idea of having the truck crashed into the wall, which is really cool. But while she actually came up with the idea of having a tree falling through the wall, which I actually like even more. So I kind of want to play around with that idea as well. I'm not sure exactly where we want to do that yet, um, but we do have a bunch of logs and stuff, so I think we can make that work. This could actually work really well and it could go into the kitchen. We could even stack that up a little bit, like have a second one, I mean. Yeah, kind of looks like two trees, doesn't it? Not just one big one. Yeah, I think it's better with just one. That's fine. Uh, something like that I think could be really cool and then we could have, we could do the same broken down thing into the kitchen here. Although we're going to need to do something about that platform. Something like that maybe. I mean that could work fine. The only thing is that doesn't really sit up into the wall. Maybe we could do that. We could maybe uh, do two at different heights so that it looks, rather than trying to combine them into one, make it look like a couple of trees have fallen. I don't know, you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think of that because I'm a bit, um, a bit unsure about how that kind of looks. Or we could have another log going this way maybe. So there's been like multiple. That could work. All right, let me know what you think of this. I don't know if I can finish this in two episodes, maybe three. I'm gonna try for two though, we'll see how we go. So we could have that there and then the fridge is sort of like it's been knocked over by the tree it's fine this is fine all right that's still floating but maybe we can disguise that with some i don't know with some things i don't know what do you think i am good at this i'm also pretty happy with this room i think maybe we need to dirty this up a little bit here let's just quickly do that now because then that's done and it's out of the way all right now let's see if maybe we can adjust that so that it touches here and then that so it's there that way it looks like the cracks going around yeah this is the reason why it takes me so much longer to build. Like, because I do stuff like that. Like, who even cares about that? This is not a necessary detail, and yet here I am, taking time to do it anyway because of who I am as a person. So, I mostly just want this to look really dirty. Like, I don't think everywhere needs to be totally run down. I like to think that a bunch of the, um, the cracks here, like, this kind of works. This crack here is coming because this here has been knocked down. Do you know what I mean? I think that works really well. It's like telling a story. We could make it so that the um, the truck, for example, crashed in to the trees and that's why they fell down. Maybe some teens got drunk. Teens got drunk, crashed the car, knocked that down. It's destroyed this wall. This one here is decayed. Just gonna pop some dirt on the outside of these two before I forget. All right, so it's, 
For some reason, it doesn't let me do the dirty stuff on the top. It's probably just like the way that the object is made, but regardless, it's a bit annoying. But you can actually see through here. You can see some of the, through the shutter. I don't know, that's kind of cool. I like it. That red color is so gross. I might actually size that down. That's a general tip I would give for anyone building in The Sims 4. Use the bracket keys to size up and down because it allows for so much more variety that you don't necessarily get with just the items like by themselves without playing around with them. So I think it's um, totally worth messing around and trying out different sizes like this here like i don't necessarily want all of these to be the one size really glad you guys are liking this build too because like i've put a lot of time and love into it so it makes me really happy to know that you guys are getting excited the way i am about how cool this sort of stuff can look you know put that up there so it's like almost broken through but not quite but then that one has actually i think i might size that down a little and that one too so they don't all need to be that big. And then we're gonna pop over some of those just to make it look a bit gross again. I think that's looking pretty good. I also wanna put in some of the dirty puddles and stuff in here too. Although this part's open, so maybe we won't, this part's open. This part isn't opened to the elements. So maybe, maybe we just pop one there so that it covers into the, into the room. And then that can be there. That works. I'm gonna change the color though. I didn't get any feedback on this here, so I'm just gonna leave it. I don't know, it's kind of spooky. Well, she liked the idea of magazines and stuff like that, where the kids are clearly messing around and doing their teenage business everywhere. Uh, Oddie was correct too when they said, look, these, they're too new, but maybe we could do hanging lights. I was thinking maybe the light, because that's all we need to finish off this room, right? Is lighting. I don't even know if I'm going to put curtains on these ones. Maybe on one curtain on one window. The bulbs from, from Laundry Day. See, these are really good too. But they look too nice. At least, like, with the bulbs, they look really unfinished. But where would they go? Because we wouldn't have regular ceiling lights in here. Couch would have been here, so we would have had maybe one there. One in the corner. Can we size that up? Does that look ridiculous? Yeah, it does look a bit ridiculous. So like one in the corner there, you would have had one there, and then you would have had another one in the hallway and one upstairs. You would have had two in here, one in here. I don't know, let me know what you guys are thinking about this. Oh, you said something about a city living chair. All right, so we have a couple of options. We have this one, and then there was the, this one here. Which is the one, uh, is that the one you meant, Oddie? I don't know, You'll let me know in the comments. I don't know, like I said last episode, they look kind of new. I just don't know why we can't have some distressed options. That's, that's what, what I'm saying. Ah, uh, see that could work, that one. Because it's kind of muddy, so it kind of fits in with the color palette. We could pop some trash on top. Let's just size that down a little. Just like that. Doesn't need to be much, but we have an old armchair and like that's it. <laughs> That's that section done, that's that section done. Let's also just stress in here, since we're at it and we're doing this stuff anyway, I just want to knock some of this stuff out of the way because that way this is like, this whole floor is almost done. And we may actually be able to finish in another one to two episodes, which would be new for me. <laughs> I build slowly because of who I am as a person. I can't help it. <sighs> if I could stop pressing my window key accidentally, that would be great. Let's just, just like for the sake of completion, pop um, the rest of our uh, bits here. So that way it's it's done and we can call these rooms good and move on. I'm just layering these so that they look a bit thicker but without having to make it wider. Sizing them down allows you to add in a bit more of intricate detail. Makes it look a bit more full. Might pop a closet here. I think I like this door here, so I think we're gonna go with that. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this wallpaper here or not. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I can dirty up these cupboard doors or not. Internal doors. We need uglier ones. Oh, I can. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, I don't know that I want stuff that's too harsh. Lots of scratches though. That looks great. Let's have a quick look at doors. I know we were looking at, at, at outside earlier, but now I'm like kind of, let's get this first 
floor finished. All right, we need old ugly doors. Like, look, that could work. They feel a bit older, and it looks like we can do the same thing and messy up the doors as well. All right, now for the doors. That looks so cool. Oh, I love it. It looks fantastic. I'm really pleased with um, with what we've been able to do here. These are kind of sitting off the doorways, and I think it'll be the same for this. But I can't, I can't make them be on the doors, and I don't think it's like even going like that. You can't necessarily tell. So I think I'm gonna stick with it because I think it's it looks really cool. Let me know if you think it's a problem, but I think it's probably fine. Oh yes. <laughs> oh my god, that looks so cool. I don't even know why I'm putting so much time and effort into this because it's like probably not even going to be a playable lot. I can't imagine anyone wants to do it. But it would be fun to um, uh, perhaps after Christmas we can do a renovate this house and turn it into a nice farm challenge. Let me know what you think of that idea because I think that could be really cool. We've also had requests to um, move in some sims and have them live in the haunted house for a night. Which I think is a really cool idea. I think it'd be fun to make some teenagers to play. So let me know what you think and if you think that could be fun to watch. I'm just going to go ahead and dirty this section up as well. May as well get it done now. I think that looks okay. We might leave this paper here but not in the bathroom. I suppose we could go this one, it's a bit yellow and then we could just make it look dirty. This is one where I'm going to need your opinions below. Let's see how this turns out and then we can just copy that into the main bathroom upstairs if we like it. I have a list of mods that I use down below in the description box so you're always free to check that out. But if you ever want to know um, what cheats and stuff I use, just let me know and I can pop them in the description box for further videos so that you know, know what's there. I mean it's not perfect but at least it does look old. So there's that. Maybe what we would do though, it's not even going to be a toilet paper holder here. That's the real nightmare, is we have that there. I think just the plain white is fine. And then we could maybe do some clothes piles, like sitting in the puddle, like wet clothes. Maybe there is a shower in here. This is a, a tough layout, to be honest. Maybe we have the, the shower here, and then we can put like a, a, a wall, like a, a half wall, but it's like a three quarter high wall or something. Just along there. Like that. We'll just move a few of these things over. We'll just dirty up these walls a little bit. Just want to make sure it looks nice and gross, you know. We could also put some candles in here as well. Oh, there's these ones. Sacred candles. Ooh. They're kind of cool, you guys. Oh, these candles are awesome. Why didn't I use these before? Why does everything have to float in this game? That works. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, let's put some of those just sitting on the table here too. Alright, so we just have the, the mud room and the kitchen to go down here. And then we need to move upstairs. Now, the real question is how am I going to lay this out? Is it just going to be boxes and trash in here? Debug to the rescue. Do, 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 do. Debug. Yeah. Wild rabbit. We're going to put a rabbit in there eating food. Because we can. Oh, clothes! That's exactly what I was looking for. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was graffiti for a minute. <laughs> we could put a chicken in here to sacrifice it. That would be fun. I mean, not for the chicken, obviously, but... Ugh, I love live edit mode so much. I'm so, so glad that we got that made available to us. I remember when I first got, um, when I first got Get Famous and I was on, I think it's like the biggest, fanciest lot in Del Sol Valley, up the very top. And there's like a whole wall behind where you, where that house is with beautiful plants and greenery and stuff. And I was so mad that I couldn't use any of it. Like it legitimately made me rage. Might disguise that with some trees and greenery, just because I think it'll look better. Why won't that go in? Hmm. So I could do something like that. That could work and then I'll just I'll disguise a bunch of it by using 
like shrubbery and stuff. I think that could work. Let me know what you think of that. It looks ornate, but again, we'll we'll disguise it with other stuff. Like maybe there's vines and tendrils and stuff growing up there, but I like that. I think that will sort of serve the purpose that we need it to serve. That's graffiti. Oh yeah. What about like this paint tube and the paint mixing cup? Like they've been getting getting ready to the graffiti. Do we like that? Oh actually that definitely needs to be upstairs in this bedroom. Oh cool, a pile of dirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want that in here for sure. We're gonna pop some over here as well just to grab and use elsewhere if we need it. A large pet poop. Why does that cost money? Mm. Alright, that looks like the best that I'm gonna get, to be honest. Let's just have a look in console tables and shelves and see if we can find anything. But I feel like we need something in the room to say like, hey, this is what this was. So that's a possibility. Maybe this one. No, I definitely want it darker. I think that works. And they'll just be random junk, you know? We definitely want to gross this place up a lot. I do like this one in here because it does look like the paper's torn. So that's cool. Looks pretty awful, I like it. Now is there any decor that we can add here? Just do a little spider? I hate spiders. Maybe an old teapot survived? Some old pots. Why are they all in here you might ask? We'll never know. I'm gonna put a knife block in here. Not because it looks old, because it doesn't, but I just, I kind of think it's, it's necessary for a haunted house. Ups the creep factor. Alright, so that room is pretty simple. We don't have a lot going on in there, but I think that's okay. So that's that. Let's also, just while we're here... Oh, we can put some cobwebs in here. It's... I don't, I don't know. It is what it is. Oh yeah, that's what I was doing. There's been animals here. Look, the rabbit got his paws wet here. Went around here. I'm actually pretty happy with all these other rooms. So it's just... So the kitchen, I think the kitchen's gonna be tough. So these look a little old. They're just, they're just a bit nice. What was I doing? We could just use, I mean, these look pretty gross. They just don't have good color swatches, that's all. So the fridge and counter would have been here. We've got rubble, would have been here. And then we'll put some um, dirt and like this sort of stuff here. So like the counters have all broken apart. I'm not 100% sold on the, the color yet. I just, can we get, is there like an old sink? One that looks all rusted and yuck. I mean, that kind of looks a bit dirty. I'm not sure that black would have been the color of choice here, but I feel like neither with this. Uh, I mean, I hate it, but maybe. I thought there was a broken down microwave in debug, but I mean, I was clearly wrong because I didn't see it anywhere. Do a lump of coal on top of the stove. Oh, it's floating. How about that? Just for reasons of which I have none in particular. Maybe not there, but maybe we could have this in here. Great big rusty pipe up into the ceiling. Let me know what you think of that one. I think it's kind of interesting. Oh, it's not really lining up though. Hang on. Something like that, anyway. The only thing is it's kind of going through a box, so it might just need to scoot that over. Block off the back door. Like, we don't actually need to get through there, I guess. I think that looks all right. That's cool. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, well, she mentioned this, and I think it's a fantastic idea. Like, teens are messing around up here. Now, we have a cupboard here which we can mess up, so I'm thinking this might go better in one of these rooms, perhaps. Let's do one of these here for no other reason than, I don't know. Let's just make this look gross, I guess. Let's make that a little bit smaller so we can fit that without it going into the window. This whole place is in peril, let's be honest. Now we can continue making everything look all mucky. We can put those over the window. That looks nice and gross. Let's see if we can do them on the outside as well, because I can't remember if we managed to do them on the exterior. Oh nice, okay, yep. You just have to like get it down at the right angle. You can't see a lot of it, but I feel like it's fine. This looks so awesome over this clapboard. Wow, I really like that. I wish we could get some different colors with that though. That would have been cool. Uh-oh, when was the last time I saved? Come on. Oh God. No, I don't want to lose my work. Come back. 
Let's just leave her for a second and we'll see. Give it a minute to catch up. Please don't crash on me. I don't remember the last time I saved. Oh my god. That was so scary! Listen, I'm not sure this is the best build I've ever done, but I do like it a lot, if I'm being totally honest. I'm not even like putting these on with any rhyme or reason. I'm literally just putting stuff where I can see it. Just wherever. I feel like it could use a little bit of aging and decaying. Do you know what I mean? I actually like how messy that looks on the floor, like how cluttered it is. Like you can barely even get in there. Maybe we could lift up some trash piles and stuff. I know I grabbed a bunch. Dust? Maybe we could put some dust on the counters. Oh, that's cool. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm so glad I grabbed this out now. Just adds to the, the grossness of the room, but I think it fits. I didn't know if, where I would want this, and if I find more, I'll grab it out to use in the barn maybe, but I just, I think this works really well. See, this is why I, I'm glad I grab out all the debug stuff and just put it out in case I want it. Because then I get inspirations when I'm doing things and I'm like, well, let me try this and then it works and I'm like, I'm a genius. We'll disguise this as part of the landscaping episode. We'll disguise this with shrubbery and stuff. But for now, that's the bottom floor, I think, mostly complete. I think we've done almost everything we need. There's still some stuff we need to do on the stairs and then we need to dirty up all the exterior on landscape day, but for now I think that's pretty good. The other thing I want to do is I just want to go ahead and finish up this maze. I'm gonna do this and then I'm just going to speed through so you guys can see the progress I make and then I will meet you on the other side. Okay, so I've gone through and I've actually made the maze four high. Some bits are slightly taller than other bits, but I think that's okay because I kind of wanted it to look like it hasn't been maintained, like it's overgrown, it's not been trimmed back, it's not been kept neat, um, etc, etc. So we've kept the layout and then you come into the maze and hopefully all will be quiet and there'll be all this like dead stuff everywhere. I like it though. I think it's cool. This one's a bit of a problem, but we'll pretend it's fine. I don't know, what happens if we size it down one? It works well enough. We can actually go down probably two there. I think that's looking pretty good. Okay, so then we wanted to go through and add in some like old bits and pieces. We're gonna have a creepy doll hiding underneath the tree or maybe in the tree. And then I think we had a couple of babies lying around too. So we've got one that's standing up, which I feel like would be cool to have at like a dead end. So like you come over here and there's just, it's just a baby there. <laughs> that's so creepy. <laughs> and then maybe we can have this one here lying inside a hedge. Like wait until you get deep into the maze. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's get another one of these though and we'll raise it up. <laughs> it's so dumb. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Why am I like this? This is fine. There's nothing nothing going on here. This isn't creepy. This isn't weird. It's not it's not anything. It's fine. Just keep moving. Keep a walking. Keep on a walking. See that? Like it looks like it's not been trimmed at all. I like it. Uh, where did those pink azalea flowers go? Got the dry rouge rouge? Rouge bush. Yep, that was the thing that I just did. Maybe I went a little over there. <sighs> Alright, we've almost finished the maze. Look, guys, I think we need to end the episode here for today because I've been recording for a really long time and I have adulting to get done. I think we've made awesome progress, though. Let's just have a quick overview of what we've done in today's episode. We've gotten the maze to the desired height. I think there's actually not a lot to go here. Pretty much I just need to go through and place some more of these dead shrubs and branches and stuff to make it look overgrown and overfilled. We've got a, a nice delightful baby here. We've got a nice sneaky little baby over here and we have a creepy doll in a tree. So I think that's pretty fitting for the maze. We're really close to finishing that. We've pretty much finished the entire downstairs. Make sure you let me know down below uh, if we want to do some graffiti on the walls, that could be a really cool idea. Or maybe you like it how it is. Make sure you comment down below and, uh, and give me your feedback so we can decide whether or not we need to do a few more tweaks. Next episode, we've changed over here to this old chair, popped some trash there, and we put these hanging light bulbs from Laundry Day stuff just throughout the whole bottom floor. We'll probably do the same with the top floor as well. We've made a little mud room here, quite literally. Added in some more dirt and a few more plants and stuff. And in the kitchen, we've created a wall here that's going to be... A lot of this will be disguised on the outside by overgrown plants. Uh, I'll need to do that fairly soon. I don't think it actually needs a whole lot more, but let me know if you have any suggestions for things that we can do in that area. And we also changed the colour of the barn. It was like a dark brown. I've changed it to this more whitewashed dirty colour to tie in with the rest of the palette of the build, which I quite like as well. I think I prefer it, but I'm not sure. But let me know your thoughts and feedback on that as well. So next episode, I want to focus on getting the rest of the house finished off. So that will be the, the top floor, uh, getting that done and then the barn and finishing off the maze. So that's what I kind of want to get done then. And then we'll have hopefully just one more episode where we'll finish off the exterior landscaping and dirty up the rest of the exterior of the house and make that look all overgrown and, and all of that. So fingers crossed, just two more episodes. And then after that, we're going to jump into our, our Christmas build with me. So make sure you comment down below too if you have any more ideas. So far, I'm leaning towards the snow globe build. I think that will be super fun. Um, but if you have any more ideas, hit me up in the comments. Also, if you did indeed like this video, please make sure you hit that like button below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet, because you know I'd love to see you back here again. Also, don't forget to go and follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch. I'm going to be doing a Christmas tree decorating stream. It's going to be fun. All of my links are down below in the description box, so make sure you go follow me on all my socials. And... Don't forget to comment down below with any thoughts and feedback. I've given you guys a bunch of stuff I, I'd like feedback on. And with all of that being said, thank you all so, so much for hanging out with me today while I built in The Sims 4. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.